Please stop singing. <laughs> but I got too sassy. Why? Because five is in the title. Oh, okay. Because the friends, today I'm going to tell you the five things that are secretly making you fat. I get comments, a lot of them recently, saying, Nicole, I'm exercising, I'm eating healthy, I'm eating in a calorie deficit, but I can't lose weight or I'm gaining weight. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me or what am I doing wrong? Yeah, and so I thought I would make this video because I have lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years. And there were several times throughout my weight loss journey where my weight just stopped going down. I stopped getting results even though I was exercising and eating in a calorie deficit. And I was like, what is up with that? I finally realized there were things that were actually causing me to be in a calorie surplus instead of a deficit without me even knowing. So once I realized that, I fixed these things and I started getting results again. So I want to share them with you in case, you know, this is happening to you and you don't know it and maybe it'll help you too. The first thing that's secretly making you fat, healthy foods. I know you're going to be like, what? But this is the thing. Because these foods are labeled healthy, people assume they can just eat them as much as they want without gaining weight. The problem is, Yes, they're good for you, but if you eat too much of them, you're going to be over your calories. So you're going to be eating in a surplus instead of a deficit and you won't be able to lose weight. And a lot of the healthy foods can be calorie dense, like healthy fats. So like olive oil. I wrote down just a couple of things just to explain like if you're not measuring all of your food, you may be adding a ton of oil for cooking, for example, and not even realizing that those calories still count. So a tablespoon of, well actually on this one, two teaspoons, just teaspoons, 80 calories. So if you pour like a tablespoon, you're getting into like almost a couple hundred calories. I know when I was frying a piece of chicken or whatever, I would use way more than two teaspoons. Me too, I just poured it in the pan and was like, oh yeah, that's good. But if you're eyeballing it, you have no idea how many calories you just put in your pan and then it soaks into your food and whatever you're adding to your food is gonna add up too. So the other thing is nuts. I know a lot of people, including myself, I used to do this, I'm hungry, I'm trying to lose weight, I'll just grab a handful of nuts because they're good for you. The, and nuts are really good for you, the problem is if you eat them without calculating how many you're eating, you could be consuming hundreds of calories because a quarter cup of walnuts or almonds is 200 calories. That's not very much, it's like this. That's it, just a little bit. So if you grab like a whole handful, that's probably four or 500 calories and you don't even realize it. I'm kind of sad that you didn't draw a stand in for this one. Oh, you know, I just, I thought, well, we have the olive oil. Next, I'll get you next time. I'll you get need, you next time. You need to draw some nuts. <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Here's my stand in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on to number two. This, this was, this, got me stuck for a bit. Number two, the second thing, cooking spray. Because it's confusing, and I have three different cans with three different calorie counts. A lot of them, you'll see this. This one is the Pam, and it says for half a second spray, it's zero calories. Then, that's impossible. We bring in the Great Value one that says an eighth of a teaspoon is four calories. Bring in this one, it says, Half a second spray is five calories. How are you supposed to know? Most people see the zero calories. The problem is with zero calories is that if it's under a certain amount, companies do not have to report it. So they can put zero. They can basically round it down to zero. I think it's like, zero. yeah, if it's like under five or so, I don't know the yeah. exact, no, don't quote us, but if it's under a certain amount, like Nicole said, they don't, they can put zero. So, you know, a lot of people will say like, why do you guys say like 
The can says zero, so how come you're saying it has calories? Well, it does, and I'm really guilty for this. I am guilty for coating my pan in cooking spray and not counting the calories and wondering why my weight didn't go down that week. Not realizing I was probably adding 40, 50 calories per meal. Every time I used a pan, I was adding that many calories. So probably I would tell you I was adding almost 100 calories a day just in cooking spray without even knowing. So we would advise you to calculate about 10 calories per second of spray. Yeah, so like if you're gonna use spray, do very minimal and then add 10 calories. If your pan looks pretty thick, like 20 to 30 calories, I would, you know, just for safety to make sure you're being as accurate as you can. Next one, I just talked a little bit about it, but the third one, zero calorie foods. Because they have no calories, I would go crazy on them, but they don't actually have zero calories. It says zero on the back. These are calorie free, these sweeteners. This swerve bag says for one teaspoon, it is zero calories. So I'll add like, I'll just scoop it by the spoonful and I'm adding calories without knowing. There's probably one or two calories, I'm just guessing, in a teaspoon. I'm adding a couple tablespoons that's like maybe 10 calories and I'm not adding that into my daily calorie count. Yeah, if, so it's, if it's edible, there is some caloric, there is some calories in it if you can eat it. So zero calorie foods are great because you can eat more of them since they're lower in calorie, but don't go wild. Still measure them. There are serving sizes on all of these things, so follow the serving sizes. Like on the sweetener, it says a teaspoon is zero calories. Measure it out because if you go anymore, you're adding calories and calories without even knowing. It's it. the same with like um, BCAAs; they have some calories. Um, even black coffee, a lot of yeah, a lot like of packages will say there isn't any in it, and that's like a common rumor that people talk about. Like, oh, it's calorie free black coffee; it has calories. It does. Like when I put it in the My Fitness Pal that calculate it for like full days of eating. It's like two cups is like 10 calories, give or take. So and in this video, calories. this video is not to get you being nuts about calories. No. It's just to be aware that like me, like Nicole's been saying, we both made the mistakes of going wild on some of these stuff. And I even did the cooking spray recently, like before Christmas, I was putting way too much cooking spray and not calculating it in, and I wanted to get a little leaner, and I wasn't able to until I pulled back on the cooking spray because I was adding calories. So yeah, this is like, it's not about going crazy, it's just about being mindful of what you're doing. If you're measuring out what you're eating, you're more likely to be in the deficit that you think you are, instead of just eyeballing and pouring and assuming because it says it's the calories it says, or because it says it's healthy, that it'll help you lose weight no matter what. You do still have to eat less, so if you're not losing weight, check on what you're doing on these things. Now the fourth thing is something that I don't think gets talked about enough in the weight loss and fitness industry, and this is labeling foods good and bad. And I know you're probably going like, what are you talking about? But I had emotional eating my most of my life, and I labeled food even during the beginning of my weight loss journey, good and bad. So anytime I ate something good, I felt pressure to keep eating more good things. Anytime I ate something I labeled as bad, I felt really guilty and what would happen is I would eat more of it because I felt guilty for eating it and then I said I couldn't eat it anymore and that would cause a spin of putting pressure on eating good foods and only wanting to eat bad foods. So and for example, like what we mean by that is we don't believe in good and bad anymore, but in the past we did. We would label, for instance, for an example, a cookie would be bad. Yes, and an apple would be good. Yeah. And so I would say, I ate a cookie, that's bad, that's bad food, and then I would eat more because I would tell myself, well, you can't eat bad food. And it kind of went in a never-ending cycle. So really, how we look at it now is, are there foods that are more nutritious than others? Yes. but stopping or refraining from labeling them bad and good allows us to incorporate all foods because there's a time and a place for every food. We choose nutritious things that 
you know, our lower calorie or that fit in our calorie deficit every day for the most part, and then we allow treats or fit them into our calories, but nothing is good or bad. It's just more nutritious than others. You know, like a lot of people say that I'm good and Nicole's bad, but <laughs> I don't believe in that vicious yeah. rumor. You guys have started that, not me. I don't say that Sassy is the good one and Nicole's the bad one. I've never said that I'm really good and Nicole's horrible. He lies because he, he <laughs> wants to be the good one, but he knows it's me. <laughs> okay, and the fifth one, is not tracking the little extras, the little extras. And I say that because people will be like, oh, I just added a pinch of this, don't worry about it, or I tasted this today and they didn't count it. So little extras are the sugar that you add to your coffee or the creamer that you add to your coffee. A lot of people eyeball them and don't realize how many calories they actually have. So if you're like spooning sugar in and you're not measuring it, one teaspoon of sugar is 15 calories. So if you're dumping in the sugar, you could be adding a lot of calories without even realizing it. And we're it. not saying don't have them, we're no, saying just measure. be mindful and if you're looking to lose weight, portion it, measure it. And that's the whole, like, this whole tip is track it. So if you're gonna have it, and you know, like Kyle and I eat what we like, we just track it. We wanna be conscious of what we're putting in our bodies. Yeah, so if you're gonna add the cream, add a serving, which is a tablespoon for 35 calories. Measure it out. That way you're getting what you like and it's still letting you meet all your weight loss and fitness goals. The, and I want to say an example. Yesterday we filmed um, a little video that had like a little dessert in it and we split the dessert after. And that was, I would say, about 50 or 60 calories that we ate that wasn't included in our day. Now I knew about that so I left 50 calories at the end of the day so that I could eat that dessert without it affecting my weight loss. I wouldn't have done that before. And then I would have added 60 calories and been in a surplus instead of a deficit. So you can still eat what you like. It's just about, oh, I had a bite of a cupcake of a friend today. Maybe I'll add 10 calories. Or a coworker brought a cookie to work today and I ate it. So count them. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you wanna know exactly what Sassy and I ate, to lose our first and next 50 pounds because we both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. We have two weight loss guides, the links are down below. We also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook, low calorie versions of all your favorite food. You get the taste without the guilt and extra calories. We also have protein powder and supplements that are Greg's huddled harder than last time, Greg Doucette. If you want to check it out, links are down there for the protein powder and supplements. And now we're gonna hold on more. Oh, and sing a song, we're singing a song, singing a song and singing along. Love you guys. <laughs> You're Hope you still enjoyed. singing. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Check you out the next video. <laughs> oh yeah, that, we didn't mention the salad dressing, but it's the same thing. Like we we use it every night for our dinner. Just measure it out. Yeah, measure it out. The moral of the story is, you can eat it. Just track it. Look out. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.